What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. That's what we're gonna be talking about today are the moments that matter. Right in the, in the crux of the moment, like what are the things that you need to be paying attention to, um, you know, to, to help relegate your risk or, you know, determine if the trade is a dud and that kind of stuff. Or, you know, is this good? Should I be adding? Can I move my risk? That kind of stuff. So, Moments that matter. So in the moments that matter, right? So what, are, what, what, do I, what do I mean by that? Throughout the trading, they, there are going to be these moments of matter. And there might be more than one, right? But there's like normally at least one per thesis, right? Or one per setup, you know, at least one. These moments that matter are often what I, what I call the unknowns of the setup. The moments that could go either way. They can also be moments that you, you know, are probably going to have to sit through before you can get to the promised land of the trade. So they, they kind of, it almost has two definitions like these two or two popular sit scenarios that um, present moments that matter. And when I'm talking about the unknowns of a setup, it's normally the moment where you're going to say, well, here we go. Like it's now or never like do or die. This is like, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen here. Right. It's normally that moment, right? It's, this, you know, uh oh, here we go. And it ultimately, like these moments ultimately come down to the supply and demand of the situation. And this is why it's an unknown because you cannot see the supply and the demand. You have like this, you have this like fucked up little window called level two that gives you like this, like acid trip, mushroom eating, drunk goggle wearing screen broken view of supply and demand right that's what level two is and that and that's all you have to go by right like it's uh, but that's why it's an unknown because it's just like unknown it's just supply and demand you don't know who's going to win this battle that's why it's an unknown right um, and it's a battle that we can't see right and so we ultimately have to bet on a victor Right. And so here's an, like, this is the missed trade today. Um, so when we come up here, right. And I'm buying this, right. Like when I, by buying the stock right up here, what I'm doing is I am making a wager that I think that the longs are going to beat the, the, that the long is going to beat the shorts, that the demand is going to beat the supply. And so what are the, the, the demand and supply forces going on? Well, you're going to have to go um, and check out the price action two webinar that I made because I, like, I don't want to go into this in super, super in detail, but I go over it in that webinar, but essentially like, like in short, what are the supply and demand forces going on here? Well, there's longs like me that want to push this motherfucker up, right? You have longs like me wanting to push it up. You have shorts who were short at 860 and they're praying and praying that it's going to stuff. And it's literally just a time ticking bomb when they're going to cover because they're going to cover because they can't stomach the stock over nine. So they're going to cover. There's going to be those covers. So I have those covers on my team and I have other longs on my team. Those are the two element. Those are the two supply and demand for the two demand forces. Now, what are the supply forces? Well, there are shorts who believe uh, that, this is a good entry opportunity. And so they're slamming in their shorts and it's a battle between us and them. And there's also longs that were long here that are afraid that 920 is going to hold, right? Tie a day. There's that supply there. And so it is a battle between supply and demand right here. And you have to make a victor on who's going to win. Like that's what you're doing. 
And so the, the thing is, is that it's an unknown who's going to win. And this is the, these are the moments that matter. It's th this moment of like, you know, like, is it going to break or is it going to not? And so you can really zoom into it. Like the thing you can see here, like I felt like this candle was a moment that matter. I bought, I added. And when we didn't continue, that was a moment that mattered. That was a, that was a rejection that caused it to fail that, that when it broke through nine and didn't keep going through nine, that is a moment of matter where the shorts, the supply temporarily wins the battle. And that's why I want to downsize because the supply is now winning the battle, thus taking the edge from me away. Right. And so that's why I, I, I cut the trade. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and moderators at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Held. And when we held, I put those shares back on because I'm like, now, base, if you went, go back and look at my price action to webinar, when I talk about how ranges like to trade, when we get up here, I think a range is broken. I think we have an 870 range you know, from this high here. This is where we broke down. So I feel like if we can hold this level, what do we go back? We go back and test the up level, which is why I put the shares back on when I feel that I have a chance of winning the battle again. And this is what you know, this is what explains my upsizing and downsizing a little bit. Now, when we tank here, or like when that rejects nine for a second time, that is, that is a moment that mattered. We needed to go. And so thus I take the trade off again. Now that's the mic. That's the, like the kind of like the microness of it. Um, but ultimately there are key levels here that I'll go over in the next slide. There are key levels here that I, I want to bring up on this. But the, the point is you have to prepare when it happens like that fast. You cut the trade using market. Get up. Oh, I hotkey it out. That's why I have hotkeys because I'm a very fast trader. Um, but um, you have to prepare yourself for these moments, right? So you have to know, like you cannot enter moments or, and see, this is why I say that VWAP reclaims are typically not a trade for newer traders to take. One, because you're typically not like used to the speed and you, you might not also know what the true risk is. You might not be just, it, it might not be automatic for you to assume 870 should hold. Like it might not be automatic for that, for that to come through. So you have to be prepared and not every trade you're going to be entering right at the moment that matters. In the VWAP reclaim trade, it's very common. And that's why I, it, it's, it, it's a harder trade because you are entering at, like you're literally entering at the moment that matters and you know, you're right on the thread. So that's why it's a difficult trade, but experience helps. So you just have to watch it over and over again. You'll kind of, you'll kind of learn this stuff, but that's an example, right? So another example of these moments that matter is the kind where the moments that you have to sit through and I want to be careful with my words here because I, I, I'll just say this from the get go. What I'm not implying is that you should sit through stuff. I, I've said multiple times that you need, when stuff's happen, you need to not guess, right? You, you, you don't want to guess, especially in this market. You don't want to just, oh, but maybe it'll stuff. Like that's not what I'm going to be talking about here, but you're going to find moments that you're going to have to sit through. You're going to find these at line trades. And what I mean is um, like, if you have like a first resistance line, and or like just even just a regular line short um, and it's going up and testing your level you might have to sit through a minute or two of consolidation and then a second attempt to go and break five like it goes up to five pulls back 492 496 492 498 494 and then five five oh five you might gotta sit through something like that because it's still right there you can't just be like oh no oh no oh no and freak out you might have to sit through stuff like that. Oh, that's just trading. So, um, and that's why you just, you know, if, you, if you're if you going for a line short at five, you just have your stop, 510, 515, and just with whatever it is, um, and just sit through the, sit through that uncomfortability, right? It's a moment that matters. Is that uncomfortable time that you have to get through to get to the promised part of the trade. You have to get through all of that initial fear. 
in terms of risk management, oh, thanks, Midtown. Um, in terms of risk management, this the moment that matters is what keeps the winners much bigger for me. Kind of the way I – so I kind of gear my trading around the moments that matter, like for me. So this is – yeah, so I like to – not be in when I think I'm losing the battle, but I want to be in when I'm in when I feel like I'm winning the battle. Because that for me, if I feel like I'm winning the be- the moment that matter for me, it, I, I'm very dynamic in my thinking here, and I know there's going to be some traders that don't agree with me, and this is okay too. That like some people have just a more static like, dude, I'm buying eight, I'm risking eight ten, and I'm going to sell eight forty. I'm risking three to one. I, like, so oh, I'm, I'm risking one to get three and this is static. I shouldn't change this trade because this is three to one. That's a static view of trading. And I'm not saying it's wrong. It's just not for me. I like to be a little bit more hands-on with my trading. And so for me, edge, risk, edge, risk, reward, and probability, they all, they all dynamically move depending on what kind of happens. So I try to adjust carefully and, slowly not hugely um as that happens it's a sliding scale for me but again that's me cup of joe on any of these shorts moments that matter would you buy us to go long yeah in, in in cases where i know it's it's against the grain like like the gene long i did i knew i was against the grain there like i'm buying it's it's a broken chart but like i'm just going for a squeeze but like if if we you know like if we fail i might switch there that kind of stuff yeah, it is. Well, it doesn't have to be straight reactionary. You can plan on like, dude, if it, if it, if this consolidates, if we crack the low and consolidate, that's, you know, that's going to be a setup I look for. But here's the thing. Eventually, as you become a trader, once you own your setups, here's the secret. Every single one of your setups, it might be reactionary in the moment, but it's so pre-planned. Like you know exactly what it is in the moment when you see it because you've owned your setup that it's not, that it's it turns into pre plan because it's just what your setup looks like. Okay, right on. So no more. All right, we'll call it good. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.